So I just ended a live stream where I was using my five star rank five Hercules who I just ascended to make it through sector seven, no, zone five, so, no, it's sex, sexter, sexter, oh man. Sector five, whatever it was, I absolutely could have used my six star rank five Hercules the whole way and it would have saved me resources, saved me time, been easier. I just did the challenge for fun, for whatever. That was fine. What I didn't tell anyone on the live stream was I knew that at the end of it, I would actually have enough shards for my next seven star crystal. And I didn't open it on the live stream. I've been opening my seven star crystals on live streams lately. And uh, I just for fun wanted to like do it secretly this way and make a separate video out of it. So. What we're going to do before I open this is we're going to go over here and we're going to look at my seven star champions that I currently have. I have, I think, seven. No, I have I have an even amount, so it must be 18. I have 18. The only one I have at rank two is Shuri. Love her. She's great. Duped once. Dragon Man, duped once. Uh, don't love him. Rocket, duped once. Nope. Ebony Ma, eh, Wiccan, I would love to dupe my Wiccan. I think I would take him to rank two if I duped him. I'm tempted to take him up unawakened, actually, just because he's a really good champion. I just kind of want that extra utility against Korg, you know, with the shock stuff. Everybody else, like, Gamora's fine. Gore's cool. Bishop, I think, is going to be my next rank two. I just got enough tier six class catalyst to rank him up. I don't think anything else is going to change out of the basic crystal here if I open it. Maybe if I awaken Wiccan, maybe if I pull an America Chavez, that'll be good. Maybe Sunspot I would consider doing over Bishop. But otherwise, probably this isn't going to change what my next rank up is going to be. Level up is currently on, and so probably I'm just going to take Bishop to rank 2 here. But there are a number of champions who I would like to get for the first time. A lot of the science champions, Hulk, even though I have a rank 5 Hulk already, as a six star, Titanium would be great. Joe Fixit's awesome. Overseer, eh, it's okay. Uh, there's lots of different champions who I would love to get. I would love someone new for the most part. Mantis would be great. Any bes anybody besides Hawkeye, kind of? Or somebody I already have. Somebody new would be great. Dupe on Bishop wouldn't be terrible. Mantis? Okay, well, you know what? <sighs> All right, that's going to be a rank two Wiccan. Wiccan is a little bit of a squishy champion, but with that neutralize and the damage he can do, and he's got some regen, he's got a decent amount of utility. He can be kind of annoying on defense. That guy's going to rank two. So now i got to decide for this level of event if I'm going to do a rank two Wiccan or a rank two Bishop. That's a win. That's a win. Honestly, I've been I've been I've been hoping for that for quite a while. Wiccan is now awakened, guys. And girls. We'll take it. That's a win. Beautiful. I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll see who I rank up. Cheers. So it is time for another level up event here in the Marvel Contest of Champions. And as you can see, so far. Well, I don't actually know how I got those points. But my plan for level up has been for some time to take my bishop being my only, whoops, bishop being my only seven star mutant champion to rank two. It's taken me a couple weeks to get the T6. Hi, Zoe. It's taken me a couple weeks to get the T6 class catalyst in order to be able to rank him up. And so that's been my plan as soon as I got them to take him up for battlegrounds. Just in general, Bishop is a pretty great mutant defender and can be a great attacker versus some of the most annoying battlegrounds champions like Korg, that kind of stuff. In the next meta for the next season, season 11 of battlegrounds, he's not going to necessarily be the best defender because it favors tech champions. So with that said, I also did just open another seven star crystal and I happened to, uh, where's that? There we go. I happened to awaken that guy there who's now at the front, Wiccan, 
first time awakening on my seven star Wiccan. I already had Wong and I already had Dragon Man Awaken, but I don't know. I just don't like either of them that much. Both of them can do some things. Eh, they just don't do it for me. Ebony Maw, great defender. Mostly just a defender. Wiccan can be used on defense in a pinch, I think. And also then on offense, he kind of slaps. He's pretty damn good. He has some great utility. He's a bit squishy. So that's a bit of a concern, but I think overall having a rank two Wiccan is going to be the best thing for me going forward. And so I don't know if I can get both of those champions to rank two in this level up event, but I've decided that I'm going to start with Wiccan. So that said, here we go. Million gold right there. Let's get the right ISO. All right, let's sell all of this besides that one. There we go. Uh, actually, I gotta pay attention because I think that I have a bunch of, yeah, I gotta, I gotta sell all of this stuff before it expires. But in the meantime, I think I have plenty of, yeah, this. Let's go for the top dogs. Let's go for the 17.5. Wow, I got more of it to use. That's not bad. That's not bad. Go back to that Wiccan. Oop, there he's there he's at already. And uh Oh god, wow. Don't even need all two parts of it. Damn. Alright, there we go. We have a rank two Wiccan. An awakened rank two Wiccan. Oh, he needs a tiny bit more. All right, we'll give him a tiny bit more. That's fine. Was it like 8,000? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just call this good. Okay. Wait, is that not? Oh my God. Just for the sake of efficiency and say, I have like 150 million gold. Well, not now, but, oh, come on. Well, why am I wasting time with this stuff? All right, there we go. We have now a rank two SIG 20. Wiccan. Uh, I think this guy is going to slap. Only 50k health. He is a bit squishy, like I said, but 84.51 attack. I am running recoils at the moment, so that's impacting that. But yeah, I think he's going to be pretty fun going forward in Battlegrounds, both on offense and defense. So I am pretty excited about that. Since I pulled him, he was one of my first seven-star champions that I pulled. Since I pulled him, he's been like basically the only champion I wanted to awaken as a seven star, so hell yeah. Rank two Wiccan, my second rank two seven star champion. Awesome. And that'll do it for this one, guys. Cheers, talk to you soon.